Marvin, in front, right here, outside. Obviously, only a few days removed from another fight here in Europe. I guess what are the emotions coming after that last performance in Paris to now fighting here in the UK? Yeah, um, I'm always happy to fight in Europe. Um, uh, this fight, it's personal for me in a sense that like I never had two losses in a row, and it's not going to be the case also. So. Yeah, man, and by now I can't wait to go out and put on a great performance. When you say it's personal, it has nothing to do with Roman, does it? Is it just an internal thing that you don't want to drop two in a row? Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, <laughs> even though it is a bit personal with Roman too, in a sense, because, uh, uh, you know, we we actually trained together before and stuff, and uh, we have some good friend in common, and uh, he didn't think twice of accepting the fight. And, uh, you know, of course, like, then if you accept the fight and they come back to me and they tell me, like, oh, like, you accepted the fight, then I'm not going to shy away from, from a fight. Definitely not. I wouldn't say that we were, like, friends, but, you know, at the same time, you know, like, we've been around each other a couple of times and, yeah. But, yeah, at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, like, we're, we're not here to, to make friends. And, uh, and uh, I totally get it. And... Uh, yeah, I totally get it. So absolutely, let's do it. And uh, I can't wait to do it, to be honest. So you said you trained with him a, a few times? Yeah, 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 because he came at Kings back in the, back back a while ago. And then uh, Giga Chikadze was, uh, you know, he's Georgian. They're, uh, they're Georgian. They, they became friends. And me and Giga go back a very long time. We're, we're like, I mean, he's, he's been my teammate forever. Like, I can call him my brother. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, just things like this, you know. And then uh, he just accepted the fight. but. Yeah, no, at the end of the day, he's right. We're not here to make friends. And, uh, yeah, he's in my division, and uh, I'll, I'll go out and smash him. How did those, how did those training sessions go when you guys were at Kings? Uh, they, they, they went well for me, I, I believe, you know. But uh, I, I'm the first to say that, like, you know, training ain't a, ain't a fight. So, you know, uh, but still, you know, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it, it went well. And you're at Extreme right now, correct? Um, well, you did some no, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I moved out to Vegas. Uh, now extreme. I went there. I was going there may maybe like two, two, two to three times a week to um, to train and spar. But mainly I did my things with like uh, uh, Jason Manley, uh, Dewey Cooper, and uh, Emmanuel Lochner at the at the at the BI. They have a lot of middleweights at Extreme. Did you get a lot of yeah. mix in with like Sean and Chris and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me and Sean, we always trained. You know, even uh, even when I was like, uh, cause well, he was in California too before, so we always trained together. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Sean Curtis was there. Um, uh, I guess who who else? Uh, Sadi uh, Sadi Buzi. Um, yeah, yeah. All the guys, I might be forgetting somebody, but. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely a lot of middleweights, a lot of good bodies, a lot of like, oh yeah, yeah I, I, I actually train a lot with, uh, especially lately with the with Taba. Um, yeah, man, definitely a lot of bodies. So speaking specifically of Roman, how how impressed have you been uh, with his with his run of wins, especially his, his last fight? He kind of stepped in against Jack Short notice and pulled off that submission. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a sniper. Like, uh, if he gets an opportunity, like he'll go after it hard. So that's why you got to be really careful about that for sure. You got to address that because like uh, he gets a position, he, he's gonna fight for his life to get it, and uh, it's good. I mean, I, yeah, hats off to to. To him and uh, the way that uh, he finished her match, because uh, I fought her match, and I know it's not easy. With that being said, though, like uh, overall as a fighter, I think um, it's a, like you know I'm in a different league. But yeah, no, yeah, impressive, good, you know, like uh, good. I mean, he's doing good things, but now I think he messed up on accepting that fight against me. Last one for me. Uh, can I ask you a prediction for the main event between Leon and Kamara? Yeah, um, I think Amara will do it again. I think he'll he'll uh, he'll get the the belt back. You have, you mentioned about training with Sean. He wants to fight Paulo Costa, and something's happening there. If that fight does happen, how do you see it going? <laughs> That'd be a good fight, to be honest. That'd be a good fight. Uh, I will see. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's hard to call, but uh, I think you see, like. I don't know, man. I think uh, it's hard. It's hard to call. I, I hope Sean do. I mean, you know, me and Sean at least. I mean, at the end of the day, we go back a long time. Uh, but I don't know because Sean just doesn't really prepare for people. Like he just 
Like the way like you'll train, like you'll train always all year round the same way and you'll fight the same way. Like you wouldn't really, you won't really like prepare for guys. Like, and sometimes at the highest level you need to prepare for, for, God, for the opponent that you're fighting, you know, specifically. So, but I mean, you know, like if I had to put my money on somebody, I'd definitely put it on Sean, but Costa can do it too, you know. Uh, outside of this, Darren Till has just left the UFC. I know that was a fight that was around with you for a while and yeah. never came to happen. You sad to see him go? What do you think about him leaving the UFC? Uh, I mean, you know, that's that's uh, that's his uh, his choice. I don't agree. Like for myself, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't agree on, on on that decision because like you either rise up to the occasion or you really don't. You don't really. Just, I mean, yeah, you can lose and win, but then you eventually you gotta like level up to the to, to the occasion eventually, and then. But maybe you know, maybe sometimes you gotta take a step back to come back. So, yeah, I mean that that that's on him, you know. And I wish him nothing but the best at the end of the day. You know, after we were there in Thailand, we got to hang out a little bit and then train, and yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, I mean, I just hope he gets it together. Was it awkward seeing him for the first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be honest, like. When I saw him, I never really thought too much of like what we said to each other because actually a lot of things that he said I didn't even saw. Like actually I saw it after, but then I'm like, ah, oh, we're cool now, so I don't even, I don't even bother. But uh, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't. It was never like a real like thing for me, at least. I don't know. Marvin, just over here. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you said this fight is personal for you because of the last, the last loss to to Robert Whitaker. What were your takeaways from that fight? Uh, yeah, yeah, there was a uh, one main take that was uh, <laughs> I needed to add kicks to my to my game for sure because <laughs> uh, of course I like to box and all that, but um, then uh, you know they, they especially coming up on that second round it changed the distance a bit and uh, I struggled uh, on finding him with my jab and stuff and I'm like yeah, yeah I gotta I gotta add some weapons so. Uh, went back, went to Thailand straight away, and worked on my kicks. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, yeah, that was the main take. And uh, in general, as a fighter, he's a great fighter. I could, I could, you know, I could take some, some of the, some of the things that he did, and uh, you know, like to pick his style a little bit. I would say, and that's it. Yeah, but no, I mean, it was a good. I mean, yeah, it was uh, it was good. I mean. I, He's a great fighter, man, and uh, I wish, uh, I wish, like, I want to fight him again in the future. So, and and, and compete against him again uh, eventually. So, good, yeah, that, that that was it, though. And you're currently ranked number four in the division. So, what are you hoping for with with a win over Roman? Um, the year, the, the middleweight division is so open. You know, I'm just gonna establish myself as uh, one of the best, and I'll be around. I'll make sure if. Uh, an occasion for the title to rise again. I'm right there. If not, they'll, they'll, they'll give me somebody else. I'll, yeah, it's uh, just gonna show that I'm not going anywhere, and uh, I'll be there. And uh, yeah, still right there within the best. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what they give me. The only guy in the top five that I didn't fight is, is Cannonier. We'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll fight him. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm laser focused on 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 Roman right now. And of course, Alex Pereira. <laughs> holds the title now. What did you think of his win over Israel Adesanya? Yeah, yeah, uh, it was good. It was good. I called it. I called it. I, I, I think, you know, he got Adesanya's number. I think he'll do it again. And uh, with that being said, Pereira will be a great fight for me. And uh, I hope I can get that, that, that shot uh, eventually. So, yeah. How do you see that rematch going down in Miami? Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll, uh, he'll do it again. Like, yeah. Come back, yeah. If you did it without the belt, the belt will, will boost your confidence, and I think you'll do it even easier, to be honest. Thank you, uh, Ari. You made some huge adjustments in your professional life. Uh, how is it for you to have an Italian cornering you again after all this time? Oh, yeah, uh, me and, uh, and, uh, and Emanuele go back a really, really, really long way. Like, we, we grew up together, it's obviously like uh. It's like having a brother in your corner, you know, and uh, that has been there through everything, basically. So, um, no, awesome, man, uh, awesome. And uh, Jason has also been the first guy that I trained with when I went to America, when I got to US. So, 
yeah, it's like a all family reunion in a sense, but you know, with with high with high level coaching uh, um, behind. So yeah, no, no, it was good. It was amazing. Did you feel the necessity to go back to to return to your roots after your fight with Louis Tucker in Paris? I, I just felt like uh, I needed to to improve in some areas and. Uh, that's what I did, you know, I got out of my comfort zone again. I mean, that's something I always seeked and, and, and wanted to. And, you know, when, whenever you feel too comfortable in some areas like that, that, that shows that like, you're not improving as, uh, as much as you need to. And um, yeah, so that's what I did, you know, but um, yeah, so I just took another step in my career that I think was the right move and that's it, yeah. In your uh, latest fight, the Italian crowd was amazing. The atmosphere was on fire during the night. Can we expect the same atmosphere on Saturday? Yeah, I believe so. Like, how long are the Italians now? So, like, uh, yeah, I hope, uh, hope there be like there will be uh, an amazing crowd, a lot of like uh, um, green, white, and red flags, and um, yeah, man, I really hope so. Grazie, Mario Mocalu. Prego, prego, niente. Marvin, over here. You just mentioned the crowd somewhat, the Italians. Did you watch either of the two London events last year, and what did you make of the British fans? I don't know. I, like, I might watch the fights, but I didn't see the crowd, to be honest, I didn't pay attention. But uh, yeah, but I mean, English English fans are always amazing, you know, like, they're, they're, they're hardcore, and I believe it would be a great atmosphere. Marvin, over here, right in front of you. Come on. All right. <laughs> You used to live in London uh, a long time ago, right? Was this before yeah. fighting? No, 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 no. It was for fighting. It was a uh, like, like was like I came here because of fighting. Like I wanted to to, to train and uh, yeah, yeah. It was 2012, 2014. So yeah, yeah I, I was really training and fighting. Yeah. So kind of must be exciting to, to be here then. To fight yeah, here. yeah. No, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This is like, yeah, yeah. That was my first place where I actually turned pro here, and uh, yeah, man. I mean. Uh, for sure, I, I know London very well, yeah. And uh, even like for training this week, like some of my old teammates came by, Mike Shipman. And um, yeah, I used to train on the shoot fighter like every day of my life, basically like twice a day. So yeah, for sure, like it feels good to be back in London. And also like I had to make it right because I was here three years ago, but then uh, when, I, when I was supposed to fight uh, Darren Stewart, but then, uh, <laughs> The day I got here, COVID hit, and then the same day they had to book me a flight to go back. And then he actually ended up fighting in Cage Warriors for the UFC. So I'm like, fuck, you know, like I came back all the way here, then I had to go back and actually fight. I'm like, Jesus, like, and it was the same hotel. I'm like, fuck, you know, like I gotta make it right. I gotta add some good memory to to this hotel to to, to London again and and all that. So, yeah. Thank you. Any final questions?